in the kitchen with David and got to see some amazing food along the way. I've been at QVC here for almost 12 years and when it comes to finding that delicious protein, it can be kind of a hard thing to do on your own. Why not trust an expert and then bring a little taste of Nolans into it? And Reese Williams is here to do that for us. Hey, <laughs> it's good to see you today. Good to see you, baby. Thanks for being here. Um, you know what? Let me get out of oh, your way and me, welcome you me. on in. Um, let me tell you all, this is Reese Williams and he has been perfecting turkey for quite a few years. As a matter of fact, we were talking before the show. You said the first time you were on QVC was Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras of, of 90, 1995. Yeah. With Bob Bauer socks. With Bob Bauer socks. I love You're it. Right. I love it. I worked in the call center when Bob, when it was in the kitchen with Bob. Yeah. How cool yeah. is that? Many moons ago. I know Many it. Moons so, ago. La Boucherie is a name that's been around for yep. 25 years. Yep. Where are they from? Yep. They're rooted in Abbeville, uh, Louisiana, which is probably two, sto two stones throw from. <laughs> I love it. The Gulf of Mexico. I love it. Um, now, Reese, if you recognize him and you say, well, wait a minute, where do I know him from? He actually brought us the Cajun injector. He brought us yep. all of those delicious ways to prepare turkey. He kind of, we, I refer to him as the gentleman that invented turkey frying. So there's a lot of heritage and delicious food here. You're being he, too sweet to me. It's <laughs> true. What he has brought us is the Laboucherie four count of the 14 to 16 ounce stuffed pork tenderloins. There are big stars on QVC.com for this one. This is pork tenderloin stuffed. We have two choices for you, wrapped in bacon, and I call this every night and Easter table all in one offer. Now, the first one we call shrimp. The second one we call jalapeno. Exactly. Can you talk to us about the different? Well, your, your, your shrimp is essentially our wild caught shrimp. Right up there. Oh, I got you. Yep. And okay. then our andouille sausage, which is a is like a ham in a sausage. It's, it's not just ground up. It's actually like diced ham, okay. smoked, pepper jack cheese. So that's what we stuff into one, one choice and then we wrap it with the apple with smoked bacon, mm. which I believe is this one. Okay. Now I know the shrimp is the most limited choice, so we're going to start there and try a bite of it first, and then we'll jump in and talk about why the jalapenos with the Stop it. Mary, why are you talking? Look at that <laughs> screen. <laughs> Reese. I'm ready for a taste myself. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you know what? Is. Pork tenderloin, we know, is such a lovely, flexible flavor. It's a versatile flavor. Um, tell us about the ingredients in here. Can I grab this little yep, one right here? Yeah, go for it. That's, uh, I mean, it just, it, and the flavor goes on and on and on. Mm. You got the applewood smoked bacon, mm. which, I mean, the smell is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the pepper jack, the andouille, the shrimp. I mean, it's just... You know it's, what? The flavor is endless. I mean, it's, really, it's, isn't it crazy? It keeps on giving. <laughs> you know, yes. You know does. what, too? The pork tenderloin is tender. It's mm, moist. It's got a lot of delicious. Always in this kitchen, always. <laughs> um, but then, got a little bit of creaminess to it. The, an, the andouille, let me tell you, is not burn your mouth hot. No, no, no. It's a depth of flavor. It is. And there's a difference between a depth of flavor and, oh my gosh, my tongue's on fire. I know the two. This is a depth of flavor. But let me tell you, that little finish with the applewood smoked bacon yeah. gives it that little touch of sweet at the end. This is Easter table perfect. Oh, yeah. It's elegant and it's also rustic. Oh my gosh. You know, I mean, it's, you got the combination of those two and the flavor just, it just, well, it starts when you smell that smoked bacon. Mm. I mean, you, and, you, and easy to cook. You do it an hour in your oven at 350 uncovered, mm -hmm. and it's like this every time. Now, you know what it's like on television. You have people talking to you in your ear. Yes. I just heard a deep sigh. Uh-oh. Somebody's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are these gulf shrimp in here, too? Yes. These, okay. are, these are gulf shrimp, wild-caught gulf shrimp. Oh, my gosh. And this is... I, I, I love them both, but I think I kind of lean towards it's this It's perfectly one a balanced. Bit. There are only four yeah. dozen remaining in that Gulf shrimp. There's no auto delivery here, so stock up, but we need to dive into the one. Now, jalapeno, I know Kathy and I were talking about it before the show, too. Yeah. If you want the spice in a jalapeno, you leave the ribs and the seeds in. Here, they've right. had the seeds and the ribs we, taken yeah, out. Yeah, we scrape all that out, and and I'm going to tell you something, mm. that sour cream, mm -hmm. Or not sour cream, cream, cream cheese. cheese. Yeah, here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, it just mellows it right on out. So uh, both of these products right here, both of these choices are just full of flavor. And the heat is just, I don't know, you got right you, actually you got to look for the heat. Mm -hmm. It's it how I feel about it, you know. Oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? It's Real like, good. Yeah. 
You know what? I'm going to use a I'm fork so on this one. <laughs> my, hand, my mouth is full. I apologize. You know what? A, a jalapeno, when you take the ribs and the seeds out, it tastes like a green pepper with personality. Exactly. The, it's not you, heat. Thank you, thank you, It's thank not you. heat. It's just, yeah. it's got personality to it, and it's good, and that cream cheese just mellows everything right out. But these are, these, I mean, I just, I love them to death. Reese. Yeah, isn't it fine? And you get 16 to 20 servings here. Mm-hmm. You know, depending yeah, when on. Yeah, in each tenderloin or in no, the well, whole thing? Four to five per, mm -hmm. depending on how. I like how you eat. Well, it depends on. <laughs> I like how you eat. Mm-hmm. That's Depends a on good how you plate it up. This, Let me tell you what. Something like this. Look at that. That's going to give you probably four servings per. Oh gosh. And those are good thick slices. You see how thick those slices mm -hmm. are? Um, now we have three easy payments here of $29.98. It's on free shipping and handling. Again, there is no auto delivery here, so we've got to stock up. Before the show, I had about four people say I want to come up there and eat. So if you all want to come eat, Y'all yeah. welcome to come eat. Kathy, if you want to come try. I was ordered to on the chat. Deanne was like, are you going to come taste for us? And I'm like, it's um, yeah, I, I, I got to go up <laughs> well, there. Here. Clean fork spot. Here, okay. look, here, here's some forks Let me tell right you, too, oh, this LaBoucherie is shrimp, rooted uh, in that New Orleans flavor. And so if you there like you to have, you know, there's something about Smell the flavor in New Orleans that just mm. has that depth mm. to it. And so you can go spicy if you want to. These are not that. Uh-uh. What do you mm. think? Right? How about that? I don't think of like shrimp and pork as being a traditional combination. No, you don't. You but don't. that is really good. But I got to try the jalapeno because I was a little concerned mm -hmm. about the spice. Mm -hmm. Please, I get please. It. Um, you I've know what? Got, I've got one thing I need to do. I've got, tell me. I, I got a little cotton top grandson. Yes. Wade, and I need to, I need to tell him hello. Hi, Wade. Hey, Wade. How old is Wade? <laughs> he just turned three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're this many. <laughs> you're the, yeah, you're this hey, anyway. Hey, Wade. He's, we aw, love you, baby. <laughs> love you, Wade. Um, you're a good eater? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I respect that. What do you <laughs> think of both? What do you think of the heat Actually, level? Actually, you know what's funny? I thought the shrimp had a little bit more of a heat than the I jalapeno. So I feel like the andouille. Because of the andouille. You're right, right. Mm -hmm. well, I, I'm a, I, I mean, they're both very new, you know, like yeah. easy, yeah, they're yeah. palatable. But you would expect with a name like jalapeno that it have a big kick in oh, it. Yeah. Right. No. no. In the, in the shrimp, so there are two dozen remaining. And in the jalapeno, there are fewer than 200 All to right, go I around. Go. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy's like, I gotta get to my computer. Um, there's no auto delivery here, so please stock up. Uh, this is a tremendous find and a tremendous honor to have it in my show this afternoon. Gosh, that's Thanks, good. Sweet. Thank you, my friend. All right. oh, oh, so nice to meet Wade today. What a sweetheart. Um, so, hey, what do you have to drink with your pork? How about a little wine? So when you go to YouTube and you 